Okay, so in this video we're going to be looking at what I call hidden quadratics, or quadratics in disguise. So, first of all, what we're asked to do is factorise and solve 3x squared minus 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. So, that's what we're going to do first. Now, you can use um, the factorising method for this. I'm going to go straight in and factorise it uh, with brackets. So, I'm going to put the brackets straight in, rather. So, we're going to have a 3x and an x. I'm going to, the only way to get that minus 1 is through a 1 and a positive 1. So, if I have the minus 1 there and a plus 1 there, then I'm going to get minus 3x plus x makes that minus 2x. And so it's factorised. So you might want to take a little bit more time over that. But, from that, we factorised it. And then, in order for this to be equal to 0, either this bracket is 0 or that bracket is 0. In which case, x is either equal to minus 1 third... So, put 3x plus 1 equals to 0, and solve that equation. Or, x minus 1 is 0, in which case x is equal to 1. So, these two uh, solutions here solve this quadratic equation. So, now, we want to be able to solve these three equations that look... Um, quite different uh, and horrible. We might see that there are some similar numbers going on, but apart from that, it doesn't look good. So, from this first one, let's multiply everything through by x. So, assuming that x isn't 0, of course, which it really can't be here. So, multiply everything through by x, we get 3x squared minus 2x, and we're going to get equals 1. So then, I can take one from both sides, and then I am back to the original quadratic equation for which I know the solutions are minus one third and one. Okay, so just simple rearrangement allowed me to solve that first one. With the second one, we've got a cubic. Now, I haven't showed you how to solve cubic equations, but the fact is that each of these three terms have something in common. They all have an x, and so you can factor out the x. So I'm going to factor out the x, and I'm going to be left with 3x squared minus 2x minus 1 inside the bracket. This quadratic is the same one that I had up there, so I know that I can factorise this quadratic. So I'm going to have x times 3x plus 1 times x minus 1, and that's all going to be equal to 0. So, in order for this to be 0, either x is 0, because that if x is 0, then the whole thing's 0, or x is minus one third from that bracket, or x is one from that bracket. And so this equation has three solutions, zero, minus one third, and one. And we used uh, the original problem in order to solve it. So finally, we have this one, this quartic equation, or quartic equation. This x to the 4. Now, in general, quartic equations are very challenging to solve. However, we can use what we know uh, from what we've done previously in order to solve it. So, effectively, this can be factorised. Because if you imagine that I'm going to let uh, x squared be y, so I'm going to make a little substitution here, so, x to the 4 is just x squared squared, so that's 3y squared. Take away 2y, take away 1 is 0. Okay? So, what I've done is I've replaced the x squareds with y. We know that that can be factorised to 3y plus 1 and y minus 1. 
So if you now put the y is equal to x squared back in, we have 3x squared plus 1 and x squared minus 1. Now you could go straight from this line to this line by factorising, if you're confident in doing it. So now, either this bracket is 0, in which case 3x squared plus 1 is 0, in which case x squared would have to be minus 1 third, or the x squared minus 1 is 0, in which case x squared would have to be 1. Now, if x squared is 1, then x must be plus or minus 1, square rooting the 1. However, x squared is equal to minus 1 third, you can't square root a negative number, and so there are no solutions to this equation. So the only solutions to number 3 are plus and minus 1. And that is how we can use our solutions from the original quadratic to solve each of these three stranger quadratics in disguise, these hidden quadratics.